Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another card for you and I will be using another Tim Holtz set. This is the Robot Blueprints and then I'll also be using Bold Text number one, the die set. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and get my stamp on the stamping platform and then I'm going to put this off to the side to create the background. So I'm going to be using some Distress Oxide inks to create the background and do some ink blending. I am doing this directly on the card base. You could definitely do it on a panel and glue it on to the card base. But I like to do this. It's quick and it's easy and yes. And if I do have any bleed through of the medium that I am using, I just go ahead and add a second layer on the inside of the card instead of the extra panel on the front. So I'm using the green and the blue to create a fun effect and a fade of these two colors. And you will see how it goes here as we create. So I actually made two cards with the robots, two different robots. You could definitely go ahead and make four. I'm sure there's so many ideas to create with these. So I will be sharing the second card that I made with this stamp set later on in the week. So you're going to get some robot inspiration from Tim Holtz this week. Because there's four of them, I wanted to go ahead and create. And I had some ideas, but the other two robots will be in the future. But so as you can see, I am just blending these two, two, two colors together and I'm using the Rabbit Hole Designs blending brushes. I will have all of the supplies that I'm using in today's video linked down below in the description box if you are ever curious. But now I'm just using the Distress Sprayer to add some water effects to the oxide inks because they react with water and I love the water splatter dot effect that you get when you add the water just adds more to the background, gives it a little bit more interest, gives it some depth and just some more fun. So then I'm just heat setting it so that it dries and I can move on to the next step. You will see what I do with this robot. Just getting my space clean and then we can keep going. So I put my card base into the stamping platform and figure out where I want it again now that the background is all done getting into position and then I'm going to go in directly with my clear embossing ink from Simon Says Stamp because I am going to be doing this in a fun color. I'm not going to be doing it black or clear. I want this one to be extra shiny. I am going to bring in the Simon Says Stamp Silver Embossing Powder for this. So got out my cardstock so that I can get that powder back into the container. And yeah, it is going to look so shiny and so fun once we heat set that. But first I need to funnel this back in so that it can be used later. Screw that cap back on so nothing gets spilled. And then I'm going to heat set this. So you're going to just see it melt. And I love this effect. And you do, I did lose a few of the details in the words, but honestly, it didn't take away from the shininess and just the fun silver effect of this robot. Robots are usually like a silver color or tend to be. So I thought this would be really fun to add that effect. This would even look super cool with gold. So you can see there it is all shiny and yes. So now I'm going to work on the sentiment. So I'm using the bold text one die set from Tim Holtz as well. And I'm going to be using the thank you so much, but then I end up using the you from another part of the sentiment or the dies another sentiment from the dies that I'd actually cut out for the next card that I will be showing you. So I just kept the letters that I didn't end up using 
on the side and it worked out perfectly because the U in thank you so much is so big and it just didn't really fit on my card base but I still wanted that small thank so I ended up being able to mix and match the sentiments together to get the size that I wanted so you're going to see that here in a little bit and I love that these fit into the Sizzix Sidekick Machine. It makes for quick and easy cutting. Yes, please. So getting that all punched out. And actually, it didn't cut right away because I did not position it perfectly. But that is okay. We are going to get it right and we are going to keep going along. And then I only cut out the piece that I really need. I didn't need a much because I know it's not going to use that. But if you make, if you do not cut it right the first time, you just try again and get it in the right position. That is okay. So I just needed the U, but then I actually didn't even end up using the U. So. I'm going to make this work. So, and then I'm going to be using the negative part to get it to be straight, to use it as like a template to get everything straight as I'm gluing everything down. And as you can see, the thanks got stuck in the die. So you could definitely go ahead and use a, a, a tool pick, a, or in my case, I am using a thumbtack because I have a container of them on the side of my desk and this works for me. So anything that you can poke it out to get all your fun pieces out is the way to go. So I'm going to be adhering this down with the Nouveau Deluxe glue and I'm putting it into the template here to get it straight. And as you can see, the U part is really big and it kind of interferes with the robot. I could have definitely done it, but I would lose details of the robot. So I did not want to do that. So you're going to see how I mix and match here as we go along. You could definitely use a ruler as well to get this to be straight, but using the negative space is a great tool as well. And you could also use the negative space for another card as well and just keep the pieces for the O and different things like that. So now I'm kind of trying to decide what I want to do. Do I want to just say thanks or do I want to just, I do I want to just add an S from one of the sets and say thanks, but I really want to say thank you. So I am just grabbing the pieces that I had used to create the second card that I will be sharing later this week and it is like almost the same size as thank. So it worked out perfectly and it's the part where it says happy birthday to you in the set. So that was great that I could match it up, thought about using the negative space to make sure that it was straight. But then I said, you know, I could just do this without that. So I'm just adhering the letters down as straight as I can with the same glue. And then I'll add a few finishing touches and that will finish up the card. This was a super quick card. This took me about 20 minutes to create all together and I had a lot of fun with it. I love the shine and the glitter. Not really glitter, but there is a little bit of glitter in the cardstock for the sentiment. It's like a shiny glittery blue. So I love how that adds to the blue background. And then I do actually add some glitter in with the Pops of Color Silver Glitter because glitter is fun and I just picked up a bunch of the pops of color new colors and there's some more glitter ones so I wanted to go ahead and use them and add a little bit more to this card so just added it here and there and then I go ahead and flick it to make these dots flatter on the card and have them just be more subtle on the background and I just love how it just adds a finishing touch to it, especially around the water droplets and everything just creates this fun, shiny background and definitely more masculine card. 
that you can give to someone that needs you need to say thank you to. So that is going to finish up the card for today. I'm going to show you it here shining and all of the fun effects, but that, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and come back for more content, more card making very soon. Bye for now.